Hello, and welcome to a new video of Christian Table Talk. In this video, we're going to show you that Muhammad changed his revelation to accommodate the personal needs and wishes of a blind man. Muslims often claim that the Quran was solely inspired by Allah and revealed through the angel Jibreel to the Prophet, but is this really the case? I would like you to consider the story of Ibn Um Maktum and his role during the alleged revelation of Surat An Nisa, chapter 4, verse 95. Abdullah Ibn Um Maktum was a cousin of Khadija bin Khuwailid. His father was Qais ibn Zayd, and his mother was Aitaka bint Abdullah. She was called Um Maktum, mother of the concealed one, because she gave birth to a blind child. Ibn Umm Maktum grew up as a blind man who converted to Islam later in his life. After having been ignored by the Prophet for some time, he eventually became a very close friend and companion to the Prophet. During the revelation of the Jihad verse, i.e. Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 95, Ibn Umm Maktum played a significant role. We read in the Hadith literature that Muhammad changed his revelation in order to accommodate the personal needs of Ibn Umm Maktum. In Sahih Bukhari, we find these traditions. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 60, Number 117, we read, narrated al Bara, When the verse, not equal, are those of the believers who sit at home, chapter 4, verse 95, was revealed, Allah's apostle called for Zayd, who wrote it. In the meantime, Ibn Umm Maktum came and complained of his blindness. So Allah revealed, except those who are disabled by injury or are blind or lame, etc. And we can also find this in Sahih Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 61, Number 512, narrated al Bara. There was revealed, not equal are those who sit at home and those who strive and fight in the cause of Allah. 4 verse 95. The prophet said, Call Zayd for me and let him bring the board, the ink pot, and the scapula bone, or the scapula bone and the ink pot. Then he said, Write, not equal are those believers who sit. And at the time, Amr bin Umm Maktum, the blind man, was sitting behind the prophet. He said, O oh, Allah's apostle, what is your order for me as regards the above verse, as I am a blind man? So instead of the above verse, the following verse was revealed. Not equal are those believers who sit at home except those who are disabled by injury or are blind or lame, etc., and those who strive and fight in the cause of Allah. Note that Muhammad quickly changed the verse after the complaint by Ibn Umm Maktum in order to accommodate his request of not having to join in jihad. The same story is also mentioned and verified in the second most trustworthy Hadith collection, i.e. Sahih Muslim. In Sahih Muslim, Book 20, number 4676, it says the following, It has been narrated on the authority of Abu Ishaq that he heard Bara talking about the Quranic verse, those who sit at home from among the believers and those who go out for jihad in the way of Allah are not equal. Chapter 4, verse 95. He said that the messenger of Allah ordered Zayd to write the verse. He brought a shoulder blade of a slaughtered camel and inscribed it, the verse, thereon. The son of Umm Maktum complained of his blindness to the Holy Prophet. At this descended the revelation. Those are the believers who sit at home without any trouble, illness, incapacity, disability. To 4 verse 95. The tradition has been handed down through two other chains of transmitters. And in Sahih Muslim, book 20, number 4677, we read, It has been narrated on the authority of Bada, who said, When the Quranic verse, those who sit at home from among Mu'un, chapter 4, verse 94, was revealed, the son of Umm Maktum spoke to him, the holy prophet. At this, the words, other than those who have a trouble, illness, were revealed. The above incident is also mentioned and verified by the grand majority of classical scholars. For instance, Ibn Kathir in his Tafsir states, Tafsir Ibn Kathir, abridged volume 2, 
parts 3, 4, and 5. Surat al-Baqarah, verse 253. To Surat al-Nisa, verse 147. By Sheikh Safir Rahman al-Mukbar Puri, first edition, March 2000, page 555 through 556. Al-Bukhari reported that Arbara said, When the ayah, not equal are those of the believers who sit at home, was revealed, the messenger of Allah called Zayd and commanded him to write it. Then, then Ibn Umm Maktum came and mentioned that he was blind. Allah revealed, Except those who are disabled by injury or are blind or lame. Al-Bukhari reported that Sahih bin Sa'id al-Sadi said, I saw Marwan bin al-Hakim sitting in the masjid. I came and sat by his side. He told us that Zayd bin Thabit told him that Allah's messenger dictated this ayat to him. Not equal are those of the believers who sit at home, except those who are disabled and those who strive hard and fight in the cause of Allah. Ibn Umm Maktum came to the Prophet as he was dictating that very ayat to me. Ibn Umm Maktum said, O Allah's Messenger, by law, if I had power, I would surely take part in jihad. He was a blind man. So Allah sent down revelation to his Messenger while his thigh was on mine, and it became so heavy for me that I feared that my thigh would be broken. That ended after Allah revealed, except those who are disabled. This was recorded by Al-Bukhari. at tirmidhi recorded that Ibn Abbas said, Not equal are those of the believers who sit at home, except those who are disabled. Refers to those who did not go to the Battle of Badr, and those who went to Badr. When the Battle of Badr was about to occur, Abu Ahmed bin Jash and Ibn Umm Maktum said, We are blind, O Messenger of Allah. Do we have an excuse? The ayah... Not equal are those of the believers who sit at home, except those who are disabled, was revealed. Allah made those who fight above those who sit in their homes, not hindered by disability. And then we have Ali ibn Ahmed al-Wahdi, the earliest scholar of the branch of the Quranic sciences known as Azbab al-Nazul, states in his tafsir, those are the believers who still sit other than those who have a disabling hurt, are not on an equality with those who strive in the way of Allah. Abu Uthman Sa'id ibn Muhammad al-Adl informed us his grandfather, Muhammad ibn Isaq al-Sarij, Muhammad ibn Hamid al-Razi, Salama ibn al-Fadi, Muhammad ibn Isaq al-Zori, Sahil ibn Sa'ad, Marwan ibn al-Hakim, Zayd ibn Thabit, who said, I was with the Prophet, Allah bless him and give him peace. When the verse, those of the believers who sit still are not on an equality with those who strive in the way of Allah and did not mention other than those who have a disabling hurt. Ibn Umm Maktum said, how is this so when I am blind and unable to see? The prophet, Allah bless him and give him peace, was overwhelmed with revelation in this assembly and he leaned on my thigh by him in whose hand is my soul. His weight grew so much on my thigh that I feared he would crush it. Then he was relieved upon which he said, Right, those are the believers who sit still other than those who have a disabling hurt are not on an equality with those who strive in the way of Allah. And I wrote it down. This was narrated by Bukhari, Ismail ibn Abid Allah, Ibrahim ibn Sa'ad, Salih, Al-Zuri, Muhammad ibn Ibrahim ibn Muhammad ibn Yahya informed us, Muhammad ibn Jafar ibn Matar, Abu Khalifa, Abu al-Walid, Shuba, Abu Wasak al-Barra, who said, when the verse, those of the believers who sit still are not on an equality, the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, called Zayd, who went to him with a shoulder blade and wrote on it this verse. But Ibn Umm Maktum complained about the fact that he is blind. And so the verse, those of the believers who sit still, other than those who have a disabling hurt, are not on an equality with those who strive in the way of Allah, was revealed. This was narrated by Bukhari from Abu al-Walid 
in by Muslim from Bandar from Ghurdar. And both Abu Awalid and Ghurdar related it from Shuba. Ismail ibn Abi al Qasim al Nasr bi Hadi informed us Ismail ibn Najid, Muhammad ibn Abdus, Ali ibn Al Jaid, Zuhair, Abu Isaq, Abara, that the Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, said, Call Zayd for me and ask him to bring with him a shoulder blade and an inkwell, or he said, a slate. Isn't the above story an example of Muhammad quickly changing his revelations in order to suit the personal needs of specific individuals? It seems rather implausible that this blind individual needed to remind Allah that there were disabled people in the world that are not able to participate in jihad. Very implausible when you consider that Allah is called the all-knowing, all-alim, in the Quran over and over again. For example, in Surat Al-Anfal, chapter 8, verse 17, and in Surat Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 115. Yet the fact remains that the revelation was already given and written down before it was changed, revised, as we can see in Sahih Muslim, book 20, number 4,676. He said that the Messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, ordered Zayd to write the verse. He brought a shoulder blade of a slaughtered camel and inscribed it, the verse thereon. So the claim that the Qur'an was solely inspired by Allah is false. We showed in this video that the Qur'an was open to human influence. A plain reading of the facts surrounding the alleged revelation of the jihad verse, i.e. Surah An-Nasa, chapter 4, verse 95, clearly shows that Muhammad was prepared to change his revelations in order to meet his or his community's needs. This was the end of this video. Thank you for watching and God bless.